everyone welcome to messianic news channel today i'm wishing you a very blessed and anointed and peaceful feast of sukkot may the grace and favor of the almighty be with all of you in yeshua's name amen today i have an important update to share with all of you and it has to do with ai it says that israel is on the course to become a, an ai superpower what is AI standing for? AI means artificial intelligence. But when we go to the ancient Hebrew language, which is a prophetic language full of wonderful codes, we get deeper revelations into AI. AI in Hebrew is, is called um, Bina Melachotit, which means something like angelic intelligence. But of course, it's not referring to the angels of the Almighty. Um, in, in the deeper sense is uh, an intelligence given by the uh, fallen angels. Back in the um, Garden of Eden there were two trees. One was the tree of life and the other was the tree of knowledge. Adam chose for the tree of knowledge and in that moment or on that day they died. One day being prophetically a thousand years obviously they couldn't even reach a thousand years before they pass away. So now, Israel is on the course of becoming an AI superpower. And um, there are some ramifications to this. First of all, historically, the Bible has been our source of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and inspiration, but also has been our source of ethics. The Bible tells us what is right and what is wrong. But when we give so much power to a supercomputer to take military decisions, uh, medical decisions, and so on, we venture into a dangerous path. We need to understand that a machine has no feelings, it has no ethics, and it has no knowledge of the Torah and of the Word of the Almighty. A machine just works with numbers and algorithms. So what's happening right now in humanity, for example, if you ask AI, what should we do with problems of pollution, poverty, uh, some areas are suffering, overpopulation, whatever, AI is not giving an answer based on the Bible, based on ethics, or based on the rules that the eternal Elohim gave us. AI simply says eliminate 80% of humanity or decrease population and the problem will be resolved. So a lot of politicians have fallen for the lie of AI and they play with the word to reduce the population. But reduce the population is a kind of elegant way to describe a massive genocide. This is a very evil, anti-biblical um, speech and concept. So also a lot of scientists, they warn that AI could develop its own um, defense mechanism and can turn against humans. Plenty of scientists that have been researching AI for the past 20 and 30 years, they have warned of these dangers. But because China is investing in AI and Russia is investing in AI and um, uh, the U.S. investing in AI, this is pushing other nations to also invest in AI and we are like um, how it used to be during the days of the Cold War into, uh, into um, uh, a nuclear pro proliferation uh, scheme where instead of producing so many nuclear weapons because Russia is producing them or India or China or whatever, now every nation is investing billions into this AI system which eventually will be the system of the Antichrist, a soulless, uh, system without ethics, without love, without compassion, just based on numbers and cold algorithms. Already in China, if you have certain, this is why AI is doing in China, if you have certain philosophical values, spiritual values, political values, AI automatically through an algorithm can decrease your score and suddenly you realize that you cannot get a passport, you cannot get a loan in the bank, you cannot rent certain properties, you cannot have certain jobs, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, and so and so on. So the world becomes a prison. So stay tuned for more Messianic News Channel. Pray against all of this evil technology. 
and remember the truth shall set you free. Shalom and blessings to all of you. Happy Feast of Sukkot.